what's up you guys? So yes, in case you could not tell, my hair is wet, like soaking wet. I did just come out of the shower. My, um, I had a treatment in my hair this last night, so I always need to wash it out. So now I'm just going to air dry, because that's what's good for your hair these days, not just constantly blow drying. So I got a few requests on Instagram uh, right after I posted, um, I'll be right back. So I did post this photo of myself with a sketch on eyebrows, and you know, quite a few people obviously liked it and complimented and stuff. And I got a few personal inboxes asking me if I could recreate how I did this, you know, my routine and everything so for that let's get to it so i am going to be showing you on two different sides of my face one i am um, mentioned in my favorites video and i can't give my hair actually my favorites video that i'm um, with my favorite brow pomade which is of course anastasia beverly hills one in chocolate um, i usually do my foundation first or then brows or my brows first and then makeup so what i'm going to show one half of my face is foundation first then brows the other side of my face, brows first, then foundation. So again, let's get to it. So of course, just dipping straight into my moisturizer first and then get into my foundation on one side of my face, like I said. And then of course, just concealing under my eyes using the BYS palette. So just under my eyes, bit of my nose, my forehead, and then cheek parts of my jawline. And then setting that in place with my Laura Mercier palette and my bronzer brush. Okay, so for the actual brows portion, I do take my um, XTB to end of the brush and of course the pomade. In summer, obviously, um, my pomade does get a bit warm from the heat and it makes it actually easier to scoop out. So, where there's a natural shadow, I will actually zoom a bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, up close and personal now. So, where there's a natural shadow, I tend to use that as like a guideline. If my shadow is about like this, obviously that's zigzag, that's just me motion the brush. So, I just very lightly, of course, go there first, and then across. Bring that the rest of the way. And then of course, just bring the tail down as well. But sometimes I don't always get it right or like how it's shaped. I think I've got it right for now. So I'm just going to continue to draw the line in. And the top. I do like how this brow shape, I just want a little bit um, slip at the top, so I'm just going to use my fingers to drag the pomade across. Now I obviously don't get this shape of the brow the same every single time. It's like with like your signature, you never get it right, or the exact same shape and line and everything as... You never get this same motion done twice. So it's going to duck it up a bit, tail. Sometimes I'll even turn the brush um, you know, flat ways, but when you do right up to my face and super across. Now I don't leave the um, front of it looking all weird and jagged like that. I actually take my finger and just sort of scrape at the edges. And I do have a zip there, so it's creating a bit of a shadow. Yeah, so that's how I like how that looks. Now I'm actually going to close off my pomade. Then, of course, it's already right in front of me. I'm taking my Nikki Tutorials palette and um, with my color brush. I was using my pencil brush to begin with, but the brush was a bit too dense for me, so I then decided to you know, see what would happen with my um, eyeliner brush. I think wanted the black shade or any black from any palette will do. I actually use my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette um, just for the mirror. And I'm going to add a little dot lines just to emulate the um, you know, brow hairs. And I do dab a little bit off of my clothes. So it's just to help make my brows look like they still have hair, even though obviously they don't. So it's sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of do great as a line, so to speak. Because you're not always going to get the perfect line. I'm going to have some pieces up here. Okay, so I did the tail of it alone, but that looks pretty realistic to me so far. This one I don't know. This is just what, this is just what I do um, for my. If I've already done base, I'm so tempted to quote Megan Trina, but I'm just not because once I've done that, I know you know what I'm about to say. This is my realistic brow um, from when I've redone my base, but now let's get on to this side. 
So exactly the same thing again, I just traced out the lines first, filling the shadow of my brow and then matching it up to the other side using the other side as reference. I didn't quite like how that line looked so I just erased it and then went back over it but adjusted the lines more and automatically going up and filling it in and then of course filling the rest of the brow in. And darkening up our brow if it needs to be darkened up some more. So same thing again with my eyeliner brush from Maxi Beauty, I'm just adding little black lines just to obviously emulate for hairs. Oh, this headband's already giving me a headache. So now I'm going to be on with the rest of my finish on this side of my face. So because I was having a tough time getting my finish brush closest to my eyebrow without smudging it, I did use, use my concealer brush and some more foundation to just get closer to the brow, just to also shift around it. And then of course filling the rest of my face. Okay, so now I'm just going to get on with the rest of my makeup, just the rest of my face, and then I will be right back. Okay, so ignore the fact that I still have a drawn rat. <laughs> so this is basically the rest of my makeup done. This is how I get my realistic eyebrows, or my the appearance of realistic looking eyebrows. So I forgot to fix spray my face. Doesn't matter as I'm editing this, I'll just wash it off or something. So yeah, so thank you all so much for watching and for those who requested this video. I really did have fun, I guess, you know, showing you how I recreate realistic looking eyebrows. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all for my future videos. Ciao!